Welcome back, Hookaholics. Foulmouth Fishing here with part two of the video I started today, yesterday. Uh, fortunately, I didn't have time to, to, to run it right after the first video, and uh, I spent the day celebrating my wife's birthday, but I just got back from the restaurant. So I figured I'd pop on the old camera and uh, continue where I left off. So uh, last video, I showed that uh, we got the Rush Tackle Box February, uh, February box. And with that, um, when I was contacting Rush Tackle Box, when I misinterpreted that they had different tier systems, which they don't, they have one station, you know, static tier uh, for $24.99 a month. Uh, you will get $40 rough value of, of products. Um, but during that, that promo, when you signed on for your first Rush Tackle, they allowed you these options to upgrade to get a mid-level, like a, a bonus extra couple of baits, and then the, what they call their mega box, which is like an extra bunch of baits just thrown in on top of a standard box. Um, with that said, this is the what they consider their mega box, I guess. So basically, it's their rush tackle box with a bunch of added stuff just thrown in. Um, they're, they placate that this is about $100 worth of baits in value, so we, we, we will see. Uh, all right, I can already tell that there are some larger price ticket items in here. However, there is no what's in your box card. So uh, what I'm gonna do after I get this in the editing process, I'll try to go through and find uh, basically the lowest uh, uh, retail sale prices for as many of these items as I can. Uh, I'm not gonna list like each individual item like I normally do, but I'll give a rough estimate as to what I think from the items that I could find, what it came up to, uh, and then, you know, we'll see whether or not it really is truly within that parameter of $100 in value. That said, let's start off right on the top here. They gave me something that I already have two of. Uh, this is a live target sunfish. This is their, uh, their three and a half inch little sunfish imitation. It's a, it's, um, it's not a paddle tail, what do they call it? They call it something different. Uh, oscillator tail, that's it. They call it the oscillator tail. It's that really beefy, thick, heavy gauge, uh, clear plastisol. And the design of it is, uh, it's like an I-beam. It's, it's just this huge frame and it, it oscillates back and forth. It really does kick up quite, quite a bit because there's so much bulk to the uh, soft plastic. This is in that sunfish bluegill color. Uh, I'm going to keep this in the package because I'm probably going to give this to a giveaway. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make up a box of just random baits and I'm just going to give that away at some point. So I'm going to set this aside and uh, somebody's going to be lucky enough to get one of these live target sunfish uh, specifically if you don't have it. Now um, I've purchased these on my own. I've gotten one or two in mystery tackle boxes over the years and uh, the one thing I say, I stress again, they come as a single hook uh, swim bait. It's a half ounce lure, but, and they come with, the, this is the bronze bluegill pattern, uh, slow to medium sink. It has the tie on for a, for a treble. They don't include a treble. I wish they would include a treble, specifically a feathered one if, if possible, in the package. Just, just throw, even if it's on the back, because this is, you know, indented. They could have made this flush and just thrown a little feather treble in the package with the bluegill. They don't do that. Oh well. It's it's a missed, uh, and it's a sacrifice moment. They could probably jack a couple of pennies up on the price, no lie, and then uh, and throw in a treble. Treble costs, you know, eight, ten cents. They could probably jack the price up another 80 cents and people wouldn't be the wiser. But that's marketing, but that being said. So that's a good ticket item. Uh, next, we got a Lunker Hunt Compact Frog. Uh, I got one of these, I think, in the other box, um, in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the February box. This one is, let's see if they got a color. This one is the Compact Lunker Hunt. This is CPTF05 Toad. So it's a Compact Frog. Um, you know, top water frog. It's typical. Like I said, they, these have a nice trailer. The legs aren't too long. I wish they would trim them. Uh, up at the shoulder, that's where I cut mine, at the shoulder of the leg, so it gives you more of that frog leg length, to, in my opinion. Set that there. We got one of their Necos. This is an American flag uh, Tugs head, heart headwear, so this is basically, you can wear it as a bandana, as a scarf, as a face shield, as a headband, 
Um, it's got a thousand different uses. It's just basically a cylinder of fabric. And the best part is it helps keep you cool in the summer. Uh, keeps the sun off you a little bit to keep you from getting that skin cancer that we all have to protect ourselves uh, from. So that's a cool thing. I'll definitely throw that into uh, another one of those giveaways. Gambler Lures Green Pumpkin Candy 6.5 inch Sweebos. Sweebos are pretty good little worms. I've had these before. Uh, they have a flat side and then they have a rounded side. This is their water, or excuse me, green pumpkin candy. Almost said watermelon candy. It's not quite. But uh, you're going to see a lot of purple, gold, green flake in there. Uh, that's a really good six inch or six and a half inch worm. Great on the Texas rig. Awesome come spawn for flipping in and agitating, uh, agitating uh, the bass off their beds. That's a plus. Uh, we've got from Smart Baits. I believe this is their Gobi. I want to say it's the Gobi pattern. It's that funny little three uh, appendage paddle tail bait. So this is one of the old original packages of Smart Baits. I think it's their Gobi. I think that's what they call it. Don't quote me on that. But uh, it color it changes color with the uh, with temperature. Um, let's see if I can. My hands are pretty warm. But uh, we'll see what we can get. I think it's going to be a green pumpkin. Well, it's got definitely green pumpkin on one side. Uh, but anyway, these are really cool. It's a good profile. I do know that these paddles here pull off extremely easy. Like, first bite, these are gone. Um, the tail seems to hold up a little bit better. But uh, these are awesome. These, again, I would run these Texas rig or Carolina rigged. Um, I have seen people use them as trailers on uh, on jerk, on uh, excuse me, on, on jig heads. So that's pretty cool. I like the smart bait idea. Uh, I like the idea of their, their glow in the dark version. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm waiting to get a hold of some of the, of the glow version, uh, just to leave it in the light and see what it works. That, that to me is best suited for you guys in the, in the way north when you had ice, uh, that you can go ice fishing with something that you can keep out in the, you know, on the tent, have a, a high intensity uh, flashlight on it get it to glow and then you can drop it through the ice, it glows down at the depths. So that's kind of cool. Smart Baits. Decent brand. Starting to, you know, everybody knows those. X-Zone. Now these are the Finesse Slammers. These are a three and a quarter inch 10 pack in their Bream. So Bream is like this blue kind of white color. Um, I like Sea Bream. I've actually enjoyed filet of Sea Bream. So you've got this white milk bottom, and on the back you have a smoky, dark, uh, like almost a purple green with a lot of blue flake in it. So you get a lot of flash, as you can see, on that. Um, this is a, obviously it's a full pack. It's not any, uh, any sample packs. I will say this, um, Rush Tackle Box does not provide sample packs. Every package you get is a retail, right off the shelf sized, full sized uh, package. So you're always getting your full package of, uh, of baits, soft plastics, uh, etc. So this is pretty cool. X zone. Uh, again, it's a three. It's a three and a quarter inch. So that's pretty cool. Good for finessing. Good, great for a drop shot. Uh, again, it's flat on one side, coved on the other. I would rig this on a drop shot or even on a, um, a Tokyo rig, and I would rig this rig this flat side up with that blue facing down. Um, you're going to be able to see if you're sight fishing. You're going to be able to see that white. It, you know, from the boat or from the from the, the, the bank, and then the fish are going to get that glitter and glitz from the uh, from the blue flake in the uh, in the bait as they're looking up at it. Uh, we got some terminal tackle in the way of a couple more Ned heads. So we got some Ned rig heads by uh, X Zone Lures. Um, these are one sixteenth ounce. It's a five pack of little Ned head rigs. That's always good. I I love these. You are doomed to go through tons of these. Ned rig uh, fishing is, is a very snaggy, snaggy, lure losing fishing strategy, but it catches fish. Small mouth, big mouth, or you know, small mouth, large mouth, it catches, catches fish. Um, but you're doomed to lose lures uh, occasionally because you're flipping these into you know cover, into down stumps and trees and, and everything like that. Also, eight ounce, 10 pack of lead pencil drop shot weights. So again, those uh, those X zones, these here, these little these little finesse slammers, 
on a drop shot, money. Money making deal right there. And uh, finally in this package, yep, finally, we've got some unique shapes with go-to colors. This is the Bamboo Bomber uh, by Z Bait Company, Z Double E Bait Co. Uh, Fish Crave it, it says. Not a company that I'm familiar with. Let's see what we got in here. I see why they call it a bamboo. Okay. Oh, that stinks. That stinks a pencil eraser. <laughs> so we got this individually segmented shape. Gives you that definitely that bamboo kind of, of uh, stalk presentation shape. And it's got... Let's see if you pull these apart. Alright, it doesn't pull apart. Or maybe it does. You could snip it apart if you wanted to for extra action. But you've got this nicely ribbed paddle tail. And then you have these two thin antennae appendages on either side flanking it. And I would cut that down the middle and get you, you'd have four appendages flapping as you're, as you're pulling this. This is definitely, to me, this is a Carolina rig uh, thing. You want their weight to come down and you want this to just trail and flutter afterwards. So, uh... That's pretty cool. They're really oily. They don't have a, a scent that I can place other than like a pencil eraser. It literally smells like a brand new number two pencil eraser. That's it. Because it's just plastic, I guess. They don't have an actual uh, scent added to it. Oh, no. Enhanced with bass syrup. Fish attractant. Personally, no offense, but I just don't get it. I don't, I don't see or smell a fish attractant. At least not one that I'm... That I'm privy to, and I've smelt, you know, um, fish, herring, crawfish scents, uh, of course, anise, the licorice smell, garlic, everything, strawberry when I'm, you know, making dough baits and things like that. Um, I like it. It's, it's a green pumpkin, black flake. It's a deep, dark green pumpkin. It's not transparent or translucent. It is uh, very much a solid tone. So I would probably like to see this in maybe another color. Maybe like a bluegill pattern or a white, maybe even white with a chartreuse. Um, well, uh, you know, but green is what I got. We'll see, uh, we'll see how this fares. I'm sure it probably will we'll pick up quite a bit. I, th I like those appendages. Like I said, I think I'll cut a couple down the middle uh, and see how that reacts versus just the solid paddle. If I can break it up and have it uh, work a little extra, a little extra action. Uh, when the water warms up and they're going after those, uh, chasing those, those really moving baits. Right now we're still cold and finessey. Um, that said, it's nice to live in a household with multiple people. So we got another three set. So we've got another standard February, another mid-range box, and another massive monster or whatever they call this mega box. So we got the, the whole setup of what was available when you logged in and applied. Um, good guy decided to, uh, to ship his over to me. So, uh, so I got, he used his uh, first time subscription and just filled out all the forms and went through and, and did the yes, yes, yes on everything. So we got the three different varieties that you were allowed to purchase. Uh, like I said, had I not screwed up, I only got the February box and this mega box. Uh, because I thought that I would later on go and uh, and upgrade, and I only got the mega box, thankfully, because the people, the, the great people at RTB, uh, you know, gave me that option after finding out what I had said and what I had done. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, definitely check out the video I posted previous uh, on just on the February box. Um, if any of these baits tickle your fancy. Let me know. What do you think about uh, this little bamboo thing? Uh, what do you think about the uh, the, uh, the smart bait specifically? Smart bait lures, I haven't thrown a whole lot. I'm sure that a lot of you out there have. What are your op opinions on it? Uh, do you think it really makes a difference that in cold water it's one color, in hot water it's another? Uh, I've already voiced my opinion on it. I think it's kind of nice because to me you're getting twice as many baits in each pack. If you're fishing during now when it's cold weather, um, you've got a color that might be attractive to fish or not, I, mean, I don't know, but it's one pro one color on that profile. And then come spring and summer when the water warms up into the 60s and 70s, that plastic will change color. And it's like buying a second pack of the same profile just in a different color. 
Um, I mean, why buy flukes in green pumpkin and black blue if you can buy one package and get a pack that changes from green pumpkin into black and blue? I don't know. That's just me being frugal. I hope you liked. Um, as always, thank you for spending some time with me, you hookaholics. Uh, I do appreciate it. I'm going to go through these boxes uh, and try to pick out some more random things and add them to a future, uh, a future giveaway. So uh, in the future, soon, I'll probably stack up a nice box of just random baits that I pick and uh, I'll, I'll hand them out to another lucky viewer. We're getting closer and closer. YouTube analytics are driving me nuts with this uh, gain three subscribers, lose one subscriber, gain four subscribers. The, the numbers keep going. But once I hit my 500 and it's stable there, I'll be doing my 500 subscriber giveaway. Again, that comes with a $50 gift card. Uh, it's going to be a Visa gift card, so that's the same as cash. And a whole bunch of cool stuff, including a one-of-a-kind, hand-painted by Martise Lures, uh, Whopper Plopper style uh, topwater bait with the foul mouth fishing logo on it. So if you like this video again, share it with your friends, get us up to uh, that 500 and then we're going to soar to 1000 where I'm going to give a 1000, uh, you know, giveaway for 1000 subscribers. That's going to be a massive giveaway. Of course. Um, I hope you enjoyed, uh, God bless from me to you. Peace. Catch you on the next cast. Bye hookaholics.